It's absolutely my favorite thing ever. 8 a.m., 4th of July on a Monday, peaceful and quiet. Why would I shoot off a firework? Because you can. Because you can. And so many people are forgetting this right now. This is why we live in this country. Because you can. Let's go. Awesome time, love small town. This is this is why we live here. Uh, absolute blast, just everybody coming together and having fun. Okay, so we got some stuff to do. So this this Fourth of July is a little bit different. We're not doing the, the beer Olympics like we usually do, which is fine. I'm on 75 hard right now. I would have to have somebody drink for me. I could still participate. Someone could drink for me, which I guess that could happen. But we're not going to do it this year. And there's so many little babies and stuff in the family and stuff. We're just going to have a good old classic. 4th of July celebration, barbecue, swimming, just good times. But we gotta get some food ready, we gotta get that food ready, we gotta head over to Ants, get this party started. The parade was just the kickoff. It's just, this is the best day of the year. Okay, now the reason why, if you go back to the firework thing, right? People would be like, why? Why you shoot a firework at 9 a.m.? Because you can't. Because back in California, where I was born and raised, we used to be able to shoot off fireworks. That was until the drought came, and that's a long story, uh, going back to saving some wild freaking smelt or something up in the river, and we dump all the rainwater into the ocean. Uh, but besides that, we used to be able to shoot off fireworks. Simple little freedoms like this, like shooting off a firework at 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. whenever you wake up or whenever you want to, for that matter, is just a simple little freedom that once it's taken away, you don't get it back. And that's, that's why. You gotta exercise them. Why you got them, why you got these freedoms, why you got the rights, you gotta exercise them. Because once they're taken away, you never get them back. Okay, let's get this cut, get in there. Pineapples, mace. You want pineapple? Or watermelon? There's nothing, nothing like fresh fruit. It's my favorite, it's my favorite. All right, next up, copycat guacamole from Chipotle. Everybody loves this. It's probably, probably the best guacamole I've had. I might be biased, but it's, it's damn good. All right, head to Ants. Small scare, small scare a minute ago. The uh, kids flipped the golf cart. Everyone's okay, thankfully, but a uh, little rough start. What are you drinking? Coffee. Coffee? There's always something. Is that the best coffee ever? Yeah! It's so good. That's pretty gross, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. So who crashed the golf cart? Who was driving? A lot of us. Who was driving? A lot of us. Only one of you could be driving. No. Yeah. There was three of us in the front, so two of us were driving. Who was driving? Both. Who? Both. Who? Both. You're not the golf cart's fine. Nick, were you driving? We were both driving. <laughs> You're both driving. Yeah. You guys are terrible. We actually were. No, I'm. I'm not even lying. We were so squished in the front that I was on half of it and he was on half of it. Is there fruit out in there? Like chunks of it, like little pieces stuck in it. So they they crashed, <laughs> rolled over the golf cart. I'm on my walk, 75 hard, the second one. Get a call from Mackenzie, she's all worried about it. Makes it sound like they're dying, they're not dying. Taylor takes control of the situation. We lost fruit though, and that's what I'm mad about. I spent an hour, y'all saw it, I spent an hour cutting that fruit. That watermelon was really good too. But Baylor understood the assignment and kept the guacamole safe. He understands that 
the avocados are three fifty a piece right now. And then we had to do everything we could to save the walk. So, ready? I'll throw you. At least the kids are okay. I've been put in charge of barbecue. Twenty-four patties on the grill. Not my grill. I don't know how it cooks. I asked Uncle. He said I'd never use it before. Hopefully, we don't turn into a bar stool in Fairnet. They're good. They passed the test. We didn't burn the place down. Okay, so if you follow us on Insta, you saw the kickball game. They're playing volleyball. So we're doing pretty good. We do have Logan, who I think is a professional volleyball player. Is this volleyball or water polo? Same. Same? Same, okay. same. same thing. Mark could do better. He does have a bad shoulder. That's why he has one arm up. <laughs> I'm distracted. It's a good one. It's his good one. Pretty fun. That was fun compared to the Beer Olympics, I think. I didn't even see you. You just been fishing. How comes just settling in just fine and fishing? Every time I turn around, he's fishing. Daniel's still down there. Got to go get him. Daniel's still fishing. Little Daniel. That's good. That's what it's supposed to be. Uh, we're gonna head back to the house. <laughs> what else do you do on the fourth? We're gonna blow stuff up. Oh no, it's still there. So what's left of my fruit? You still have a child, okay? That is a good point. Like I said earlier, it's because you can. It's because we have the freedom to, the liberty to, we can do it. Like, we can do it because we have freedom and rights. And that's why, like today, even, even before we went and got the party started, after I got everything done here, I still got my 75 hard second workout and went and did a 45 minute cardio session up the hill because I'm focused on myself, focused on improving myself so I can contribute back to this nation back to the country that I love, why we celebrate 4th of July, the founding of this, because those that came before us laid the framework and laid the ground and, and did put in all the work so we could enjoy today and enjoy our lives. But it doesn't stop. We gotta continue. Like We gotta pick up where they left off because otherwise my kids, my grandkids, my kids, grandkids, kids, like it's not gonna continue. This can't continue like this. So I'm gonna do whatever I can individually to contribute and hold myself accountable for giving back to my family, my community, my country, my state. That's that's why we do this. Like, I just hope to inspire others and, and have them come along with me, cause cause there's a lot of work that needs to be done in this in this country. Um, but no one's gonna do it unless we do it. So there's my frogs. That is it from East Tennessee, y'all. Happy Fourth of July.